What makes a tweet funny? Uh, um, uh, um, um, like a... To write. At the heart of it, it's a need to be heard. People posting tirades in YouTube comments, Facebook rants, all of us out here yelling our heads off looking for an audience. And then came Twitter. There are 5,000 tweets posted per second. People all over the world shooting off their mouths. And a lot of the tweets they write are funny. There was one gatekeeper and I had to make one person laugh. There was a system in place if you wanted a job as a writer. But Twitter changed that. You could have a potential audience of millions and if you can make them laugh, <laughs> bingo. Twitter evens the playing field. A nobody from nowhere in a country no one's heard of be as or more funny than the like showrunners of billion dollar television shows. I'm just a dude who was working as a cashier manager. I mean, I've come from that to a small part on a show on Cartoon Network. And how was your weekend, Gary? They got me a job at Family Guy. It's intoxicating. It works in the same part of my brain as a crossword does. It's a Rubik's Cube, it really is. It was that rush of stand-up, but I could do it in my underwear. That's how I started dating Sarah Silverman. She sent me a message and said, you're funny. It got me my first writing job. It's capable of lifting people up to crazy places they've never been to, but it's also capable of crushing people completely now. <laughs> there was a time in America where everybody thought he was a joke. He just exploded, and he just kept coming at me. It was like dunking on a toddler. It was more important to me than my actual family and friends. These ideas, these things I'm thinking of, these jokes are a commodity. There's something very intimate about someone who makes you laugh. Your stuff is funny, people are gonna like it. Funny trumps everything.